my God, it's an amazing literary festival. I've never quite seen uh, a festival that is, exudes such uh, welcoming, uh, good vibrations. Listowel is really the most wonderful festival in the world because it's really about so much more than just books, just writing this. It's the conversation, it's the interchange, it's the feeling of being part of something and being part of a community. <laughs> So few that do it as well as this and you know when you see these powerhouse ladies who organize this they're brilliant and they look after you and the audiences are also lovely. Everyone is equal in Listowel um, from the, the, um, the Pulitzer Prize winner to the, the one who kind of scribbles away at her kitchen table and to the reader as well. Everyone. year my first novel came out and it was shortlisted for the Kerry Prize and obviously I've come here and I've attended workshops and you know it's kind of been part of my development a huge part of my development actually as a writer. There is an engagement with literature a desire to promote and celebrate and advance catalyze literature it's brilliant. The town is really beautiful and the festival is really, really um, well organised. Everybody's very well looked after and what's really interesting is there's such a diverse range of contributors. John B. Keane and his storytelling and his writing and that tradition is still very much part of Listowel and what people want to remember and what they want to think when they come to Listowel. To dedicate an entire week to writers and literature for almost 50 years is no small thing. And to win a prize like this is a great honour. Writers spend most of their lives in a solitary condition. So to get the opportunity to meet so many of my fellow practitioners, to talk about process, to talk about the craft, it's not just about teaching in the workshops. Writers also learn from each other. All the people who do, do shows in their own right, they're all so accessible after the show to hang around and have a pint and have a chat. And you add on half an hour to every single time you arrange to meet somebody because you will always get sidetracked in a wonderful way. Ashling lives in a town quite like this, but it's not quite as buzzy. It, it's not as picturesque, it's just a bit more generic. I would say on, on busy weekends like this, like she'd love the fact that the town was being busy, but she'd also be annoyed by people parking somewhere they're not supposed to park and blow ins. But she might think about putting a room in Airbnb, would she? Yeah, no, she'd get a few bob. Yeah, she'd get yeah. a few bob after. <laughs> <laughs>